Ladies, if there's one advice that will fix most of your relationships, it's, it's, it's always the one that I always give and the one that everyone seems to be hesitant to apply. And that's if you leave them, a lot of the times they will come back. You see, most people overestimate the people that we fall in love with, their self-esteem. A lot of the times people think that people that we fall in love with are so confident in themselves that they're willing to lose you. Particularly relates to people who are not behaving the way they should be around you, who are not respecting you, who are testing you. And they test you because you've shown them, perhaps through your nonverbal cues, that you're not willing to lose them. That, that you are their dream come true, that they are your dream come true. And people get cocky. And sometimes you need to put people in their place so that they could treat you how you deserve to be treated. And primarily, a lot of us think that if we stop paying attention to our partners, if we're not consistently validating them, if we're not always around them, telling them how amazing they are, that they're going to get bored. So it's not just about letting people go when they misbehave, but it's also about leaving them alone in general, having your own life, and, let, and, 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 and letting them feel that you have a life that you value other things, that, he, that they're not the center of your universe. A lot of people feel insecure when, we, a lot of people are afraid to show that because they're afraid that the person will walk away. Leaving people alone, I mean, if you have kids, a lot of parents will tell you that. A lot of the times, some kids need their space from their parents. They need maybe a year or two, but they don't talk to you that much, and it hurts. And, and they feel like, oh, I have to do something. I have to do something to get their attention. When in reality, it's like, no. Sometimes people need time away from you to realize how important you are to them. You know, And it's kind of like when you eat the same thing every day, when you listen to the same song every day, that doesn't mean that song is low quality, but over time, you get bored of that. And you want something different. And you want to avoid that overexposure because it ruins what's what you could have had because you just don't give people space, you know? Most people are bluffing. Most people are deep down feel alone. Most people deep down feel lonely. Most people deep down feel insecure. Most people deep down feel envy. Most people deep down feel the same insecure emotions that you feel on a daily basis. Don't forget, I'm actually at a silent retreat, people. After today, I'm not gonna make videos. I'm making videos for the next few days, but I'm doing a silent retreat in preparation for my upcoming course, Emotional Mastery, ladies and gentlemen. You can purchase it, pre-order it right now before the prices go up, because they are going up. Um, and don't forget, we're having a seminar in London. It's about non-verbal communication, all right? It's gonna be at the, end of the, at the end of the summer. And if you guys wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, go to mindfulattraction.org so you guys can ask me about whatever issue you guys are going through. Look, unfortunately, the only way for people, most people think bad things will never happen to them, right? Most people think that when, when we see someone going through an accident, or when we see someone paralyzed, or when we see somebody go through some crazy stuff, we have this weird illusion that it'll never happen to us. Just like we have this weird illusion that we will never get older, especially when you're young. They, our partners also believe you'll never leave them. Our partners also believe that you'll never cheat on them. Just like we always think that we'll never be cheated on when we first got into relationships. We'll never get broken up. This relationship will always be there forever until reality hits. And so you have to believe, you have to understand that most people have that belief. Most people are never expecting you to leave them. Especially if you put up the front and you validate them on a daily basis. And you make, I mean, especially if you make them feel like you will never leave them. And at the end of the day, it pretty much comes down to controlling the urge to always want to control everything. And learning to let go and be okay with the person never coming back. Or be okay with the person not liking you. And if you are, if you learn to be comfortable with that, even when you like the person, you can learn that through learning how to meditate. It'll give you power over your emotions 
And you'll notice that the situation sometimes ends up turning in your favor. But when you try to control the outcome of a situation, a lot of the times you end up self-sabotaging and the opposite tends to happen. You know, and people feel that when you could try to control it, it just comes across as overbearing, needy, desperate, and you lose all the allure and attractiveness that you had initially because you're just too much for them. And a lot of times we don't, we're not aware of that because we're so self-absorbed in our emotions and our insecurity that we're not even paying attention how we're pushing them away their facial expressions, we're not even aware of those facial expressions, the grunts, the subtle looks, the need for space, because we're just so self-obsessed about with our, with our emotions, you know? And that usually comes down to just bringing self-awareness to that needy desperateness or purchasing my course, Emotional Mastery, which I would teach you how to do that, you know? And, 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 that's, and that overbearing nature is one of the is one of the reasons why we just self sabotage a lot of relationships. We just don't give people space to breathe. You know, just like fire, fire needs space to be created, and love needs space to be cultivated. They'll all start acting super confident, super cocky, and the way that you know they feel they they're taking you for granted is that they start pulling away they start being they, they start not being romantic they stop dressing nice let themselves go because they feel like they've already won and so in that lies a certain truth in that it is human nature to take each other for granted it is human nature to take the earth for granted it is human nature to, to take our parents for granted to the point that we don't even say what we feel about them because we think they're always going to be there. And unfortunately, life has a way of reminding us of our common mortality, of our impermanence in this world. But a lot of us, when we love people, we are afraid to show them that impermanence. We are afraid to show them that if you fuck up, I could leave you. Or better yet, we are afraid of leaving them. So there's nothing that they could do that, that will cause us to leave. And so that, and so that, perception that feeling of I don't want to lose this person or I don't want to make them feel like they could lose me one day it causes people or it causes people to have the wrong impression of you it comes across as weak a lot of people are in fragile situation which is deep down you know that if you leave this person they won't come back to you but you're so used to being in such a bad situation in such a you're so used to not being loved completely that you rather take the breadcrumbs because the opposite, which is not being loved, hurts more. Being loved halfway is toxic to your spirit. You either not, are not loved with some, by somebody or, or, you, or, the, or you're loved completely. You should never accept the middle because the middle is toxic. This is not the middle path that the Buddha is talking about, people. All right? It's like being with friends that you know they're not your friends. Like, for example, if you're a rich person and you know people are only with you because of the money. So... You keep giving them money and when you don't have enough money, you start to panic because you know deep down they're not really your friends. So it's just a lot of people are avoiding reality because reality does hurt. And whenever you face reality, you're forced to grow and growing hurts. People want to avoid that because it just hurts people. But that's the only way that life allows you to grow and that's, and that's through pain. These situations, you got to reframe it in your mind. Don't think losing somebody as a painful experience. Think losing somebody as you're, something new is going to come out of it. Because you're hurt, now you're going to have to adapt and develop new habits. And when you, when you develop new habits through mindfulness and awareness, you always come out winning. Every girl that dumped me, I always learn from it. Either I got more into meditation or I learned some principle that I taught and made money from it. What? It, it, it was all because of my attitude. Don't have a fearful attitude towards facing reality. If you, if, if you leave the person and they, they never come back, accept it with, a, with, a, with, a, with an aggressive attitude towards attacking your weaknesses and not letting this keep you down. And saying to yourself, I'm gonna overcome it. I'm gonna get in shape. I'm gonna get more, I'm gonna go to therapy. I'm gonna deal with my emotions more. Oh, this person left me because I was too needy, too desperate, too psychotic, too crazy. Then I'm gonna work on myself. Those things lead to positive results. But if you just let, but if you deep down you don't want to grow 
what happens is that you don't want to lose them. What happens is that you, you want to cling on to that person as, as, as long as possible. And that's because you just don't want to grow. And, and losing them requires you to grow as a person and mature. And that's the reality that, that me, as a, me as a person, all of those heartbreaks that I've had, you know, I didn't want it to happen, but I faced them with a, with a positive attitude, saying I'm gonna grow from this. This girl dumped me, it sucks, she didn't like me, but at least I left, even though I, she, she was treating me with half love, well, you know what, I'm not gonna accept that. And I left and it hurts, but you feel pride because at least you stood up to them. At least you, 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 you did the right thing by leaving somebody who's only giving you breadcrumbs. When you let somebody breadcrumb you, it hurts your self-esteem. It leaves your self-esteem like a bunch of breadcrumbs. It's pretty much saying that's what I deserve. And the way you know that's because you feel shame deep down. All right, anyways, we're gonna go to a quick commercial break. All right, guys, we're gonna have a brief intermission so I could tell you guys about our new bundle that we're doing where you guys can purchase all of my courses and get it at a discount. So this bundle is pretty much um, the bundle where you could just buy all of my courses. You could buy um, Nice Guy, which is a training course on how to come across more assertive, how to come across more confident, um, how to not give off Nice Guy vibes. You guys can get access to Dark Game, um, which is my folk dating course on how to meet women in different scenarios, how to attract women, how to make sure you don't come across as creepy, and essentially how to act like a man and not act like a doofus, to be quite honest with you. Um, and you get all of these bonuses, which is the bonuses of Dark Game, the bonuses of Practical Mastery, uh, which is about how to master a skill, Social Mastery, which is how to master your social life, and the Laws of Human Nature, which is a book club video that I had dissecting Robert Greene's book. You, all of this is naturally at around 238, 200, no, naturally is at $346, but you guys can purchase this bundle and get it at, what, what's the price again? Uh, get it at um, two, 238, pretty much. Um, so you guys can purchase it right now. Um, it's a money, money back, 30 day money back guarantee. Uh, it's a good way to rather than just buying them individually and paying extra you guys can just purchase everything at a discount price now the only thing i don't like is the fact that i'm giving you a lot of information at the same time that makes me kind of scared because a lot of times people don't do the things that i teach when i when you get too much information but i've gotten too many requests to do this so i'm just satisfying you guys purchase it right now by clicking on the description down below where it says purchase the bundle all right let's continue with the video and I'll see you guys inside. Unconditional love to people who are not your family members is not something you should do. Everything, everyone that you love, that's not your family, even your family, there should be some conditions. And that condition is respect. Because you are worthy of, you are somebody who's valuable. And you shouldn't stay with somebody who makes you feel insecure when you're around them. And so when I talk to clients and they're in that situation, a lot of the times the solution is just to leave. And if they love you, they'll come back. And if they don't love you, they won't come back. Or they'll come back and then do the same shit that got you to leave. And so a lot of people don't wanna do that because they're afraid that if, you, if they actually do what I say, this person may never go back to them. This person might actually leave and never come back. And so because of that, they never really get really appreciated because the only way for someone to really appreciate you is to realize deep down that one day they could lose you. It's only the proximity of the end, only the proximity of death that makes you appreciate someone. And this death is a metaphorical death, and that's the death of the relationship. The, 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 the abs your, your permanent absence from this person, you have to make them realize that that's possible. And if you're always trying to hide that reality by always constantly reaffirming them, Never them making, never making them feel a little insecure about that reality. Because when I say make them feel insecure, I mean make them feel that it, that that you will leave one day. Because for example, a lot of people don't want to think think about death because thinking about death makes us feel insecure. But that is the reality. And when you think about it, you might feel insecure. But that insecurity causes you to appreciate what you what you already have. And so that insecurity that you instill through letting them know the reality of the situation makes them see you in a new light. It makes them see you with more appreciation.
people will treat you with more romanticism they'll go more out of their way to make you happy because they know you will leave them one day you know and, and, and so it's kind of like you gotta you gotta help people appreciate you but if you're always trying to remove all of those insecurities of saying baby i'll never leave you you're not doing your you or him a favor you or her a favor you have to let them know yeah baby i, I can leave you one day if you do this if you do that yeah 100 percent. if you disrespect me i could leave you you have to do that people it's not manipulation it's not playing games it's not being a dick it's just you respecting yourself and you helping them take care of what they already have reminding them that what they have is valuable reminding them that what they have they have to take care of it and cultivate it that you shouldn't just treat me like someone like your pet even your pet when you realize that your pet one day may die you hug your pet more you know so yeah if you leave them a lot of the time they will come back with more appreciation do not be afraid to leave people because a lot of the times we're afraid to leave people because we think one they won't come back and two we'll never find someone who loves us the same way that this person loves us we'll never find that someone who we feel the same chemistry with and you have to realize that you are a human animal you are wired to connect with people you are wired to be loved and to love so even though yeah you feel that chemistry with this person it feels like you'll never feel it again or the sex is incredible you have to realize that you will feel that again because that's just an illusion an illusion that your brain creates to promote monogamy but the truth is is that every time that happens you're proven wrong because now you you're in love with somebody else you know so don't be afraid you will find somebody else who you like who you will like if you leave this person and you apply the strategies that i teach in, on this channel it's just that it will hurt a little bit but that pain will help you grow that pain will build character that pain will give you wisdom and new insights so that the next time you meet someone it's better and easier you know don't be with some of those people that watch my channel and never do what the videos say the only way for you to learn is to learn the hard way you can never learn by just watching my channel the only way you learn is that you deal with the situation and then you remember what I said in my videos. And from there on, then you can say, oh, that's what he meant. Or better yet, look at the people you, who you don't like. Notice how the people who you don't like always seem to come back to you. And use that. And don't just think, oh, it's because they're not attractive. No. It's just that they're reacting to your mentality. If people react to your mentality a lot more than they react to your looks. Yeah, people react to your looks initially, but what keeps them there is your state of mind, people. And you can develop a better state of mind by just developing a meditation practice. If you develop a meditation practice, you'll notice that people just become more friendly towards you. People are more, influ more influenced by you. And people just want to be more around you. And you're going to be just a better partner to be with. All right? Anyways, if you guys want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, go to mindfulattraction.org. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay?